Hey there. Back at you to talk about our um, next national park. Uh, I apologize. I've got hiking hair and I got sunscreen in my eye earlier today. So my eyeball is really red. So just ignore that if I look strange. Um, anyway, so today we went and saw um, the Arches National Park um, and Canyonlands which both are, uh, the Arches is in Moab, and the Canyonlands is right outside of Moab. So they're, I don't know, about 20 minutes apart. So we did those today. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful scenery. Um, unlike some of the other parks, though, I will say that um, the walkways are, well, okay, I'll take that back. The pullover sites uh, that are right off of the road um, are easily accessible. And, and the major lookout points are handicap accessible. Outside of that, um, nothing else is handicap accessible. Um, and the trails are long and, the tra and some of the trails are extremely difficult. So um, if you're looking for handicap accessibility, you're pretty much gonna be limited to the pullover sites on the side of the road and the major lookouts, which have paved sidewalks and railings. Um, outside of that though, it is not gonna be very um, handicap accessible. Um, if you are a person that likes to go extreme hiking, however, um, this is great for you. They've, they've got some great spots. Um, the scenery is absolutely beautiful. It looks like a miniature Grand Canyon. Um, the lookouts are amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. In fact, they almost look like, uh, I'm sorry, y'all, my eye is killing me. Um, but they almost look like, um, I can't even think of the movie, but it, anyway, um, my knees buckled when we got up there to the top because I am, I didn't think I was terrified of heights, but um, I guess today proved me wrong a little bit because I was really nervous standing on the rocks um, and looking at uh, over the cliff. Um, so a little, little bit nerve wracking, uh, especially when you have children because, you know, you don't want the whole um, child falling, falling off the cliff episode, uh, which, you know, if you guys know me, that would probably happen to me. Um, so anyway, but we had a really great time today. Um, a lot of people have been messaging me and asking me about the dogs. The dogs are with us. Gunner and Coda are with us, both of which are service animals. Um, we did not take them out on these last few parks because the hiking was a bit extreme. Um, as well as, uh, we had spoken with, um, some of the park rangers and it was advised for us not to. Um, so... When, when we go back to that, I want to talk about park rangers and their jobs and how stressful their jobs are. Um, when you're visiting national parks, please respect the rules and the regulations. They're there for a reason. Um, and I'll give you a great example. Uh, I'm not going to post it on Facebook because I don't want to socially blast someone that I don't, I don't know and I don't feel that it's, you know, necessary. Um, but today I was driving and there was a woman literally with a dog on a leash standing behind the sign on the road that has a dog with an with a line through it that says no pets and she's walking her dog around the national park why like do you not see the big sign that says no pets there's a reason why um, I saw another guy today with a drone. National Park has it clearly listed on all of their documents. No drones. So, guys, help out the park rangers and don't make it difficult. Don't try to get away with something that you shouldn't be. Don't just blatantly ignore it. It is there for a reason. Um, both of the parks we visited today, um, Canyonlands and the Arches, both of which say no pets. None. Don't let Fluffy out on the side of the road and walk up and down the trails. It says no pets, okay? Um, even for us, I spoke to them with a service animal. They were perfectly fine with us bringing the service animal, even though we chose personally not to. Um, but we did that. They did advise that the hiking is a bit strenuous and one slip could be very detrimental for the dog and or you. Um, there's also archaeological findings out in some of these arches um, 
and the canyon lands and they don't want the dogs digging they don't want um any human being or animal to mess up the um like i said archaeological findings um people were taking rocks and scratching their names into the arches and the canyons it, why guys uh, you why because now a park ranger has to go back behind you and scrub that off um it's not cute it's destroying our nature so please stop um I'm not making this a PSA, but kind of making it a PSA because it is difficult. The park rangers have enough crap to deal with um, on their day-to-day -day basis. Just don't add to it. And if it says no pets, please don't take your pets. And this has been a problem at every national park that we have gone to from the Everglades to here. Signs that clearly state no pets and people are out there walking their pets. Um, so please abide by the rules and regulations. It's there for a reason. It's there for your safety. It's there for your pet safety and it's there for mother nature's safety. Um, so off my pedestal there, but overall today was really great. It is really hot. So make sure we, we were talking with the park rangers. Um, obviously we live in Savannah, Georgia. It's really hot there, but we have something called humidity and humidity plays a huge factor. Um, out here, you do not have humidity, so it's really hard to tell when you're getting heat exhaustion or when you're getting dehydrated, um, or at least it is to me. It's a lot harder to tell versus being in the south in Savannah, Georgia. So drink lots of water and take salty snacks with you, um, and that's the other thing, too. If you have a service animal and you are taking it, once you pass the visitor center at both of these um, national parks, there is no water accessible. There's no water fountains, there's no nothing. So please make sure that you are taking a cooler, a backpack, something, you know, for your anim for your service animal as well as you while you're out there in the parks because the last thing you want to do is to get heat exhaustion or to get overly dehydrated um because it can happen really quickly. I mean, it was 100 plus degrees here today and with zero humidity and we were down in bottles of water right and left. So please make sure to take care of yourself. Um and to take care of your service animal if you are taking it with you to some of these hotter parks um because it it can be detrimental for both you and the and the and the service animal so anyway um Brittany kiner checking out i was going to let you guys know about the arches and the canyon lands both are beautiful um please check them out if you get a chance um again just note that the uh, pull-off sites and the main views are the only views that are handicap accessible so y'all have a good night. I'll talk to you later.